In this video, we will be looking at the sensory neurological examination of the upper limb. This video will provide an approach to examining the sensory system of the upper limb, and in addition, provide a structure for the neurological examination. As well, it will provide techniques for effective communication with patients. The mnemonic wiper provides an appropriate introduction to the clinical examination. W. Wash your hands. I. Introduce yourself. P. Ask for permission. E. Expose. And R. For reposition. For the purpose of this examination, the patient should be exposed from the waist upwards and in the sitting position. Hello, my name is Catherine Pitt. I'm a former year medical student. I've been asked to examine your arms today. Would that be okay with you? Can I check your name? Uh, Jane Smith. And what do you like to be called? Jane is fine. It is important to ask the patient whether they are in any pain. For the purpose of this examination, can I ask you to remove your gown? Yes. Thank you. Can you lie um, back against the bed for me, please? For this examination, you will need cotton wool, a neuro tip, and a 128 hertz tuning fork. The first section of the examination requires knowledge of the dermatomes of the upper limb. The dermatomes we are testing are C4, C5, C6, C7, C8 and T1. We will be testing three different modalities in a dermatomal distribution. These are light touch, pain and temperature. It is important to test each dermatome in turn, comparing the sensation of the right with the left. In addition, pay close attention to the points at which each dermatome is tested. Firstly, we will be testing light touch. We will be using the cotton wool for this. Note firstly, you must demonstrate the sensation centrally on the patient's chest. Then, ask them to close their eyes while you test each dermatome in turn. Can I ask you to lay your arms out, like this? Thank you. I'm now going to be testing your sensation, first of all using this cotton wool. Mm -hmm. Can you feel that? Yes. Does it feel soft? Yes, it does. In a moment, I'll ask you to close your eyes. I'd like you to say yes when you feel me touching with the cotton wool and if it feels the same on both arms. Okay. Can you close your eyes for me, please? Yes. yes. Does that feel the same on both sides? Yes. Do not stroke the cotton wool over the dermatome, but lightly press the cotton wool at each point. To test pain, we will be using a neuro tip. Now I'm going to be testing sensation using this. Can you feel that? Yes. Does it feel sharp? Yes, it does. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and let me know if you can feel me touching you with this and whether it feels sharp and feels the same on both sides. Okay. Can you close your eyes for me, please? Yes. Does that feel sharp? Yes, it does. Does it feel the same on both sides? With this modality, it is important sure. to explain to the patient you are testing their ability to feel a sharp sensation, rather than testing whether they can feel pain. Sure. For temperature, we will be using the 128 tuning fork to see whether or not the patient can feel the coldness of the metal. I'm now going to be testing sensation using this tuning fork. First of all, we're placing it on your chest. Okay. Can you feel that? Yes. Does it feel cold? Yes, it does. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes in a moment and let me know if you feel me touching with the tuning fork, if it feels cold and if it feels the same on both sides. Okay. Can you close your eyes for me? Yes, it's cold. Cold. Does it feel the same on both sides? We will now move on to test the patient's vibration sense. This is carried out by again using the 128 Hz tuning fork. As with the other domains, ensure you assess the patient's sensation centrally first. If the patient cannot feel the vibration at the metacarpal phalangeal joint, move proximally to the stylobe process and then the olecranon process. I'm now going to be testing your vibration sense using this tuning fork. 
First of all, I'll place it on your chest. I'd like you to let me know um, if you feel it vibrating and when you feel it stop. Okay. Okay? Can you feel that vibrating? Yes. Let me know when it stops. Stop. Okay. Ask you to close your eyes and let me know when you feel it vibrating and when it stops. Finally, we will be testing proprioception. When testing, it is important to hold the joint from the side to avoid giving the patient additional clues. Make the movements as small as possible. Now be moving your joints. This is up. This is down. Okay. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and tell me if I'm moving your finger up or down. Okay. Close your eyes, please. Up. Down, down, up. Thank you. Thank you. That's the examination complete. Would you like any help getting dressed? No. To conclude my examination, I would like to assess the vascular status of the upper limb, do a motor examination of the upper limb, and a neurological examination of the lower limb. Firstly, good communication is key. It is crucial to give clear instructions to the patient. Secondly, when assessing pain sensation, it is important that the patient reports their feeling of sharpness, not just feeling the touch of the object. In addition, you should avoid frightening the patient by telling them that you are assessing pain. Lastly, ensure you know the distribution of the relevant dermatomes. For supplementary notes on neurological theory, see accompanying documents on www.oskiaid.co.uk.